We're targeting the youth market and how to engage them when they come into shop. They're social shoppers, they tend to um, shop with their friends. If they're alone, they get on their cell phone or they'll send photos to their friends. So, you know, how do we serve that customer when they come into the store? What can we provide from a technology standpoint that will engage them? We've taken hold of the concept of YouTube, the concept of MySpace, the whole idea of social networking, and brought it to retailing. We can bring current trends to the better business value of all of our clients. Nanette Lepore came to us because she needed to reach out to a younger audience. Her new line was coming out and was going to be premiered at the Bloomingdale's flagship store in New York. How could new technologies help brand her product and reach the customers she wanted to dress? Introducing Social Retailing. Come into a store, you see something you like. Take it into the dressing room and try it on. You come out, you look into a mirror, you say, I like the way I look, but I'm not going to buy it until I hear what my friends say. A webcam captures your image and sends it out over the internet to all your friends. So here you can see suggestions coming in for people viewing you online. If I just to select one of the suggestions, I tap it and it appears in the main mirror here. Truly interactive, and then we added this nice little hot or not kind of voting thing. At this point I've got four people think I'm hot, which is kind of cool. The store of the future is focused on thinking like a tech-savvy team. This Icon Nicholson that dressing room is a shop for you shopping. It's definitely got shop New York technology designer has very developed a new digital mirror. It's called Social Retailing. to let you bring your friends into the dressing room with you, no matter where they are Maria, in the world. these innovations are not just changing the shopping experience. They're helping retailers manage their inventories and, in turn, protect their margins.